Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another video. And this is going to be 12 hours with my toddler. I wanted to show you guys our full day routine. So we started the morning out with a trusty bottle of milk for my son. And I wanted to show you guys how beautiful it was this morning. Every morning I wake up and I make my bed. I do this because my son's in the back room. Excuse him. Uh, but I do this just because it makes me feel like I've accomplished at least something small in the beginning of the day. And I don't like bugs you know in case they ever get into my bed I just do not prefer bugs getting in my bed so and then I open the blinds every morning to let some sun in I usually try not to turn on like our typical lights just to keep them like uh, just to keep it more natural I guess for our brains and our eyes hey. what you got there bud here's Sophie good morning <laughs> Good morning. So out of all these toys, you'd rather play with a gallon of milk? <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> You're a boy. You're a boy. Hi. <laughs> yeah. And while Payson is just getting his toy on, <laughs> just his morning time play time, I am in the bathroom usually washing my face, getting my moisturizer on, just pretty much just preparing myself for the day. This is me trying to look cute, just kidding. <laughs> but I usually always like figure out my hair, you know, some days I don't do anything with my hair. I really don't care. Other days I try. <laughs> But today specifically, I'm like, oh, I'm filming. And I had to run a couple errands, so I didn't want to look horrible. So I just decided to go ahead and get ready. But I will show you guys my makeup routine in a little bit. I basically just speed it up so you don't have to sit there and watch my entire makeup routine. But this is nice to have this routine just because it helps my skin. And I use Almonate products. I, I'm, I'm one of their reps. I don't really sell it anymore, but I use it. So this morning I'm gonna make hash brown bowls. I feel like I did like made this the last time I did a what I eat in a day, but this is what we have like once a week. So I'm just melting the butter to put the hash browns in there. And then I'm gonna make the eggs after because the hash browns take a little bit longer. After I get breakfast done and get him dressed, I'm gonna do my makeup and all that, but I can never find organic uh, shredded hash browns or any hash browns. I don't know why, like they just are non-existent. So maybe I need to look on Amazon or something, but I I don't like using these because of the bad oils and stuff, but it's like, it's such a great, like easy breakfast and it tastes good. So whatever. <laughs> so he's just waiting for me to get done with breakfast. I had an issue this morning with YouTube where it's, my video is not showing up on my channel and I'm really stressing out, stressing out about it. Um, so I'm trying to get a hold of my other YouTuber friend and see if she'll help me figure it out. But in the meantime, uh, we're just, oh, what's that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stain. He loves to play with his dirty laundry, like take all the, the clothes out and then sometimes he'll put them back in, but mostly he takes them out. <laughs> it's about time for my morning coffee. I don't have coffee every morning, but today, uh, I recently bought decaf um, Starbucks pods. So I was like, oh, I want coffee today. That just sounds good. And I usually just switch up the creamers that I use. I usually use like half and half regular or like some type of sweet cream. Uh, but I'm just showing you guys that I'm putting the hash brown cheese and egg and ham bowl on the table. So this is the, uh, little creamer that I use right here. It's the white mocha Starbucks creamer and it's actually really good. You just have to like not use very much of it because it's very thick and yeah, it can get your coffee like overly sweet if you're not too careful. This particular morning, I actually ended up using too much just because I was videoing and I didn't really realize how much I was using. But here we are just having our morning breakfast. I use this little bear cup. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's on Amazon, but it taught him how to drink through a straw and I still use it to this day just because it's the easiest thing for us to use. And yeah, he loves this breakfast. By the way, if you guys are like not sure what to make your kid or you're just tired of like plain old eggs and toast or even pancakes, hash brown bowls are great. And then you can add some ham to it and it just makes a great like protein bowl. 
So it's very filling and I feel like it's very sustainable even for myself to get me through the morning and then I'm not like hungry after two hours. <laughs> All right, so after we clean up, I obviously change his diaper and then I get him ready for the day. I just pick out whatever outfit I feel like for that day. And right now it's been cold, so I've been putting him in long sleeves and pants like every single day, especially when we go outside to take my dog out. We usually hang out back there for like 45 minutes. So I also brush his hair every morning with this little tiny brush that I've had since like literally before he was born. <laughs> He always has like the afro puff hair in the back so it's funny and then so i can get ready i'll turn on his favorite show which right now it's super simple songs if you guys have not discovered these shows they're so cute for toddlers he's obsessed <laughs> and then in the mornings i take my seed pre and probiotic they've helped my stomach so much and my gut since having him i had this issue uh where i would just get like really bad stomach aches and I don't even know how to describe it, but my gut health was so messed up. So I started taking this and I, it's worth the money to pay more because it helps a lot. Obviously I'm getting my morning makeup on. I love sitting down and just watching my YouTube videos and doing my makeup or most of the time I'm just listening to the YouTube videos, but this is the time that I catch up on my YouTube videos um, or like podcasts or whatever. And I sit down for about 12 minutes and do my makeup. I feel like I need to get my brows tattooed because it takes so long to get my brows like filled in. I just don't have any brows anymore. It sucks. But anyways, here's my makeup routine. <laughs> I got my makeup done. We're ready for the day. I have to do some house chores. I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about uh, sleep training. Here's the situation. My son sleeps with my husband and I. He's been sleeping in our bed for his whole life. And we know that it's time to basically train him to sleep in his own bed. He honestly had never barely ever slept in his crib. Like we didn't even really have him sleep in his crib, like except for maybe some naps. And the reason why is because he was such a light sleeper that every time we'd lay him in his crib, he would just wake up and he would start moving around or start crying. So I never did it. Like we barely ever did that. So I was like, well, this is stupid. We're never getting sleep. So I recently watched a video and if I, if you guys ever have any questions like on where I got the idea, then I will definitely like, I will definitely share that information with you guys in the comments. But I just happened to watch a YouTube video and she was sharing about the uh, pick up, lay down method, pick up, lay down method. And I'm sure you guys have heard about it. I'm new to it because I'm a first time mom and I'm like learning all this stuff. But I was like, that's genius. It's because the reason why I've been so afraid of doing sleep training is because I don't want to do the cry out method. I, I feel like such mom guilt, like when my kid cries, like I'm not that mom that just like lets her kid cry. I can't. I realize that that's probably a faster way to train them probably because they just get the idea that they're, you know, it's up to them. Like they have to self soothe and all that stuff, but I just don't personally want to do that. So I want to implement the pick up, you know, like when they stand up from their bed, then you lay them back down. And in that video I watched, she must have picked him up. I'm sorry. She must have laid him back down at least 20 times or 30 times. Eventually Payson will learn to sleep on his own, but I have to go through that whole process and I'm deciding to start with naps until after the holiday. And I don't know if that's a good thing to do. Like we might try to do it in the evening, but I'm thinking that cause we're going to be going to California. So I don't know if he's going to be sleeping in the bed with us. So I'm just like, is it going to undo what we've trained him to do? So I'm just kind of like, not sure what to do with that because we could put him in a pack and play, I guess, but he is such a light sleeper. Like I said, he'll probably wake up when we put him down. So, it's just easier for him to be in our bed because it's a queen at my parents' house in their guest bedroom. And so we, we usually all just sleep together. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna wait until we get back from California to start sleep training him for like overnight. But for now, I definitely wanna try the nap thing because you usually have to take him on drives and I just don't always wanna do that, especially when I'm like doing laundry and trying to clean and film and all those things. So I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about that. Um, it's definitely something that we we want to transition him out of because I feel like, you know, at 15 months, he's getting a little too old now to sleep in our bed. Like I, I know that we need our bed back, especially if another kid happens to come along one day, like we definitely need him out of our bed in case 
we want to put that one in our bed or if we want I, I really want to train the other one though if we do have another kid like I want to uh, sleep train that one like right away to sleep in the crib and hopefully that that child will be easier and not so much of a light sleeper <laughs> all right well Payson left me some mess here that I got to clean up. I got to open this again. It was too bright while I was doing my makeup. So I usually always open this. I got to do his laundry right now. So I'm going to throw all that in the laundry basket and do the laundry. And he's just in here. His, his TV program shut off, but that's fine. Cause I don't want him to watch too much of it. And he's playing with my yoga mat. <laughs> what are you doing? You stinky. Hi, baby. Normally I give him a nap, like we take a drive like at 10 or 10.30. I'm so nervous to try this sleeping thing because I don't know if it's gonna work, but like I know it's gonna be kind of frustrating, but I know it has to be done. I'm just not sure if I should do the nap thing first, start there and then do, like I wanna do it all together. I just don't know what to do, you guys. I almost wanna wait till the first of the year just to do it all. I'm just so confused right now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Anyways, we'll figure this out. <laughs> Since we have tenants that live underneath us, we have to do laundry like every other day. We have like a specific schedule. So today is laundry day for Payson. And then I do dishes every single day, probably twice or three times a day, depending just cause I don't have a dishwasher. So that's what this is right now. Just my daily dish duty. What you doing? Where's the little boss? They're going right here. Where are they bud? Mm. Oh, honey, what? I think he's getting tired right now, so. Give me hugs, yeah. Oh, buddy, I love you. I'm playing a YouTube video in the background. <laughs> the one I just posted, because I'm making sure everything's good. Can you don't bite mama's hair? Don't eat my hair. He like is obsessed with my hair. He always wants to bite it. And then I just have baby slobber in my hair. It's seriously so wet. Mm. All right. Now we got to figure out nap time. <laughs> Help. I don't know what to do. <sighs> do we take a drive or do I try to put him in his bed? I caved. <laughs> this is our routine. We get in the car at like 1030 or 10, whatever, and we drive around until he falls asleep. I have to talk to my husband about the nap thing. I need to do more research, I feel like, before I just make that decision to like do nap time and then not do the bed, you know, bedtime. I don't think it matters really, but it might. I don't know. So I need to do my research, but I'm gonna head to Starbucks once he's asleep. So I'm just gonna take my normal drive and then we're gonna go to Starbucks and then we'll be coming home after that. I can't believe I caved, but I did. My car looks like a disaster right now, but I wanted to tell you guys that Payson's asleep right now. He's doing good. <laughs> but I decided to get some Chick-fil-A because I was hungry. It's already 11.36, so I'm kind of eating an earlier lunch, but typically I eat around this time between here and 12 or 12.30. Um, and then I got my decaf iced Americano with one pump of caramel brulee and half cream. Just something, something easy. And then you guys, this is my bad habits, okay? This is my whole bad habit, like, happening in one situation. <laughs> but I got a cake pop, uh, and yeah. Like, I'm not even gonna try to eat better until, like, January. Because we've got pies gonna be eaten, we got potatoes, turkey, like, all the things. I'm not saying turkey's, you know, unhealthy or anything, but just saying. We got holiday food coming, and I just don't, feel like being super diet conscious right now. I am still working out pretty much three to four times a week and that's good. So I'm keeping that going. But anyway, we are back home and I'm about to make Payson a PB and J with almond butter. So it's not technically PB. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then I use this like reduced sugar organic um, raspberry jelly. And then I'm gonna give him some grapes. And I'm trying to think of something else I'm gonna give him. I don't know if it's vegetables, but he's in the other room watching TV really quick while I make this, just to keep him happy, because when he wakes up, he's not very happy. 
lunchtime varies. Sometimes I make uh, quesadillas for him. Sometimes I make pasta with broccoli. It just honestly varies, but typically I make like three to four different types of meals just because it's so much easier for me and it's consistent. So I'm just going to put him in his little seat, buckle him up. I always put a little bib on him. In this case today, he's half naked because he was wearing a white thermal and I didn't want him to stain it with the jelly and the, the fruit and all that stuff. It's a brand new thermal. <laughs> You're getting all your nutrients except for vegetables, <laughs> which will be for dinner because we're going to make a chicken soup. It's going to be delicious. I just figured it was easy to drive through Chick-fil-A and get food so I don't have to make anything because we don't really have anything that's got like protein in it here so I would have had to make like a PB&J or something like that and I always get hungry like an hour later if I do that so I'm like forget it I need to go get something substantial and uh, Chick-fil-A not healthy I know but we only have a few drive throughs around here that I actually like places that I eat so that happened to be one of them but my coffee is really good. Are you all done, buddy? Eee. Yeah. We gotta get you cleaned up now, huh? <laughs> so every day we take Sophie out to go to the bathroom. Hey. And then she tries to eat the grass and she throws up later. <laughs> but this is his time to be outside and honestly the weather is not that bad. It's in the 40s. But I'm just glad it's not in the 30s because when it's in the 30s it feels like it's like just bone chilling cold. But <laughs> this is his time to find sticks and leaves and just play, huh? You have a big backyard. My husband raked a bunch of leaves but it looks like he needs to do it again. <laughs> Because these piles are all getting messed up because Payson keeps playing with them. We're just going to kick it out here for a little while. Just so he can get some playtime in. And then we'll go back inside and finish up laundry. And do all the other stuff today. Here I am just putting away Payson's laundry. It doesn't take me long at all. I mean, I wash his clothes once a week. But he doesn't have that much, so it's easy. And then I decided to do my leg workout today. I feel like I've gained weight because I just, I'm not watching what I'm eating that well. But one thing I know for sure is I am definitely sticking to my workout routine. <laughs> so even if I'm gaining weight, I, at least I know that I'm, you know, doing my workout. <laughs> so that's kind of just something that I'm trying to stick to, but I definitely am going to work on weight loss. That was challenging. January. That was very challenging. I actually repeated last week's workout, leg workout, because I didn't do... I think one or two days worth. I think I missed one day actually, but I think it was legs. So I just did that workout and I, I basically just set the program to repeat all of last week because I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to work out this week because of Thanksgiving and everything. So yesterday was Monday and I did like a, I just pulled up a random YouTube video, like a 15 minute cardio thing. I did that and then I'm hoping to get the other three workouts in this week, but I probably won't because of Thanksgiving. So it's okay. Right now it's like a snack time. So I'm just giving Payson these little Kirkland fruit and veggie pouches. I'm actually eating one myself because sometimes I just feel like I need nutrients and I don't really feel like making a whole smoothie. <laughs> so tonight I'm making a chicken potato soup and then we're gonna have rolls on the side, but it calls for celery, carrot, russic potatoes, and an onion. And I think I'm just gonna actually cut half. I like less onion than normal, but. I'm going to go ahead and chop these up and just prepare them for tonight. I got a rotisserie chicken given to us, so I'm going to be using that for our dinner tonight. That way I don't have to cook the chicken, but yeah, I'm just going to chop this all up and prepare it. Payson is just playing with his toys. Huh, buddy? And Sophie's up there just hanging out. Hi, buddy. He's playing good all by himself. Oh, buddy. All right, so I've got the onions, the celery, and the carrot all chopped up, and then I have the chicken underneath it um, ready for the soup. And then I'm gonna wait till a little bit later, like right before dinner, to chop these up because they turn yellow. But I wanted to just kind of get ahead and chop up those other vegetables. So right now we're just 
kind of spending some quality time together. I just really want to do this every single day where I just sit down with him and spend a lot of time with him just because it's good. I feel like just instead of putting him in front of the TV or just him playing alone by himself, like I think it's great to have that parent interaction a few times a day where you just kiss and hug and tickle. Anyways, I'm about to start dinner. Um, I'm gonna be doing that chicken soup. My husband is driving my son around because it's his second nap time. So we're gonna be eating dinner probably at like 5.30ish. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started right now. I'll go ahead and show you guys what our dinner looks like once it's done, but hopefully it's good. It's just gonna be a very simple soup. This has to sit for about 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna add the chicken and the potatoes. Actually, the potatoes first, and then the chicken, because this is already cooked. It's basically just to warm the chicken up. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop in the shower while my husband is still watching Payson in the car, because he's just sleeping right now. And then I'm gonna get back to doing dinner. All right, so this is the final result. <laughs> Just carrot, celery, chicken, and potatoes, and broth, and salt and pepper. It's very easy, and you make it with like a little bit of spices, but not much. It definitely tastes very chickeny with uh, rotisserie chicken in it, so I recommend doing just a regular breast of chicken. Then we have these sweet rolls on the side. Payson really loves this dish, like especially like anything with chicken broth and vegetables and just a lot of flavor he loves these types of things so i make a lot of soups around here just so he can eat with us <laughs> it's just something he loves so now's the time that i'm going to change him and get him ready into his pajamas for the night so we can start our nighttime routine which to be honest you guys we don't have really a nighttime routine because we haven't sleep trained yet so we just basically hang out with him he plays with his toys while we have some adult time and watch our like netflix shows well, and stuff. you guys we're nearing the end of the evening we had dinner and basically what we do is we just watch TV and then we go to bed <laughs> so we are gonna be enjoying some apple pie from Costco that we got from our real estate agent that we used to get this house um, so I'm just gonna have like a slice of that and I know um, my daily habits of eating are not the greatest lately but like I said I'm not gonna worry about it until <laughs> January because I'm just I can't be bothered. You know what I mean? There's just too much. So Payson sleeps with us in our bed until we are going to sleep train him, which is going to happen very soon. And I really do want to film like the process of that. So we have that to like remember and then to be able to share with you guys in case like you need some assistance with that stuff too, um, like advice and all that. So I do plan on filming that, but but I'm honestly just not sure like exactly when that's gonna happen. I have to do my research and stuff like that like I talked about earlier. But if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm really trying to grow my channel right now and I wanna do this like full time. I wanna do this for a living. So I hope that you guys stick around and support. I'm so thankful for you guys already who's ever subscribed. So that's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.